In my previous video, I let fate decide my next mini project from my backlog, using the Hobby Life app. The project was my sister's novitiate, from the Chelnaf Kill Team box. There wasn't a lot of sample schemes online for the novitiates, but they definitely have a different look and feel to the rest of the army. So I didn't want to directly paint them in my regular Bloody Rose scheme, which uh, is normally quite vibrant and bright. Whereas all depictions of the novitiates have much more muted colours. I wanted them to look like they belonged in the Bloody Rose detachment without deviating from the look that makes the novitiates different and this is what I came up with. Instead of red armour with black robes, I kept the black robes but switched the red for a plain leather. The leather look keeps the warmth of the red armour, but tones down the vibrance quite significantly. I did, however, keep some colour on the shoulder pads. Again, I felt like red would be a bit too vibrant and a bit charring, so I went with a pink to keep it in the same colour space. But perhaps this armour is more worn, or the novitiates don't get as high quality pigmented paint to use on their armour like the Battle Sisters. For this video, I wanted to provide some detail around what you can expect from the Chalnav Kill Team box, and provide some tips if you want to paint a similar scheme yourself. First off, I just wanted to say how impressed I am with this kit. Each model has three or four options for how you can mix and match the parts to make different units. There are so many options here, I hope in the near future you'll be able to buy the Novitiates separately because I want to make more of these combinations. On the plus side, the one kit has enough extra spare parts that you could probably make some pretty cool conversions with the standard sisters kit. Where possible, I tried to pick combinations with melee focus, as this fits with the Bloody Rose theme. I like to use a lot of contrast paints when painting my sisters. For this, I generally start with a white base coat. This time I decided to start with black, and then did a zenithal highlight by spraying white ink from above. I left the ink overnight to dry, then coated it with a matte varnish to lock it in. This worked great, but it also meant that contrast paints uh, will be a lot darker and less vibrant. In this case, that wasn't a problem, but it could ruin some paint jobs. To paint, I used these three for the shoulders, robes and armour, and for the highlights, mostly these three. These are the other contrast paints used for the detail and shading. For anything red, I started with Contrast Flesh Terrors Red and worked my way through these shades. The end in yellow was used for the Flame Brazier. These colours for the basing, XV88 as a base, then a dry brush of Screaming Skull to highlight, and Agrax Earthshade to even it out and add a bit of recess shading. Then Abaddon Black for the rim, but any black will do for this. For anything metallic, Retributor Gold, Game Air Silver, and then Stormhouse Silver for a light dry brush to bring out the shine. So yeah, these are the main colours I use for this paint job. I don't actually have too much else to add about the process, I feel like it has been covered in my previous videos, but I still wanted to bring you this insight on how I approached the project. If I was to start over, I'm not sure if I would have stuck with the Xenophil. It did work and bring it all together, but it does feel a little bit bland in some spots. I like having a lot of vibrant colours, so this project was a little different for me. So what do you think? Do you like this scheme? How did you paint your novitiates? Please let me know in the comments. Also, videos have been coming out a little bit slower lately. I'm actually working on a much bigger video, and it's taking longer than I had hoped. But I'm really excited about it. So make sure you subscribe, so you'll be able to check it out when it's ready. Thank you.